Ziploc bags here as well as a Sharpie pen. And I want to go ahead and write on the front of my bags what this is. And I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to do a second one because I'm going to do two for the month. And then if I'm not home or something, um, they know um, how to fix this because they'll know what to look up in the cookbook that I have put together. And so I've got my three peppers here and I want to go ahead and I want to throw all of my peppers in the bag. And I will put the recipe, full recipe down below in the um, description box. And next I need to cut up my onion. It's one large onion. And then you also want to cut your boneless, skinless chicken breast into strips and add that to the bag. So I'll be back when I get my onion done and then I'll come back again and show you the chicken. Okay, I've got my onions and my peppers in the bag and now I'm just going to um, I just wash my hands really clean and I don't want any cross contamination here so I'm using a different knife and I'm just simply going to cut these chicken breast into strips. And I'm going to do this with all of them. You know I just I, I don't really um, spend too much time on cutting them up you know I just want to make sure that they are cut into pieces so that it's easier to put the sandwich together and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bag and I do a chicken breast per a member of the family um, I find that it works better um, to do that That way, um, I know that, you know, there's plenty for everyone to at least get one good hearty sandwich out of this recipe. That. put some backbone in this <laughs> cutting up this meat and I'm just going to continue to finish cutting these uh, chicken breast up and put them in the bag and then I'm going to seal it and lay it flat and put it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it and you all will see when I load my crock pot with it and what it looks like when it's finished Hello, it is Saturday and we are doing major repairs on our house um, today and so my house is a disaster and I got to thinking, oh my goodness, I got to think about dinner. Um, we usually eat late, which is fine um, and I have something for lunch so we're, we'll be good and tied over but it is about 1.24 as you can see there on my phone and I did not lay this out to thaw. Um, I promised that I would share this with you guys and I'm going to. So this is the Philly steak uh, sandwiches, the chicken, not steak, Philly chicken sandwich, sorry guys, um, that you saw that I just put into the freezer bags. It's frozen solid. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm just like everybody else. I forget things. I honestly do. Um, every person does. Um, we get busy and we forget. So I'm going to tell you a little secret about these frozen meals. 
what I do on occasion when I forget to thaw I will just set I will actually take a pair of scissors and cut the bag off of it as you can see it's like one big chunk right here let me pull back here and um, I just set it inside there and I put it on high and it gets the crock pot good and hot and it will defrost that and no time at all and when it all kind of gets all apart and gets down inside there I'll show you what we need to do next to this recipe um, you know when it comes to these crock pot meals it's they're so simple that you can't mess them up that's the way I feel about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait for this to thaw a little bit just so that I can get the whole thing down into the pot and then I'll show you what the next step is and then I'll show you after that when we serve it and what it looks like I'm very excited about eating this because I'm gonna serve it with the leftover fries that I have in the refrigerator um, from the other night when I had um, company over um, I bought a huge bag of fries from Costco and I saved my oil and everything so that I could um, go ahead and utilize all of it so nothing goes to waste and I can make those fries tonight for my gang because today we are painting my bedroom and putting new flooring down it's a lot of work and I know that everybody will want a nice hearty dinner this evening so that is what's going on and I will come back and I will show you guys what this looks like and what the next step is back with the Philly chicken sandwich in the crock pot now um, as you can see it uh, it has um, defrosted some and it was able to fit in there so all I'm going to do now is mix one cup of chicken broth and this is a half cup measure right here so I'm going to do one cup hello Mr. Smith hello There we go. And then you want to put a little bit of cornstarch in this and mix it up and pour it into your um, into your uh, crock pot. So let me get a spoon and I'll be right back. Hey okay, guys, sorry about the interruption. Um, we are painting our bedroom and putting new flooring in so everything is like chaotic majorly chaotic. So I've got my chicken broth here. I just added my cornstarch to it. All you want to do is just simply pour this in to the crock pot. Very, very easy to do. And then I am going, because mine is still a little frozen, I am going to cook this on high for one hour and then I'm going to turn it down on low. And um, let me check my recipe here. It says in the crock pot on low for six hours. So, honestly, I think I could probably leave it on high and it'll be ready in time for us to eat for dinner. Um, but the complete recipe will be uh, in, you know, below in the description box. And as soon as this gets ready and we get ready to eat, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I do know that when this chicken gets done, you're going to lay your, you know, you're going to stir it and then you're going to lay your provolone on the tops of your uh, chicken so that your provolone cheese slices will melt and then you're going to serve it on hoagie hoagie or sub rolls so I'll be back when this gets done and I will make sure that I put the complete recipe down below for you all so I'll see you guys tonight okay we got the chicken um, Philly sandwiches all it's all made up and I'm going to show you how I put it together. As soon as I get this cheese open, when they going to be so complicated on me, but it is. I'm using uh, provolone slices. And we are a cheese family, so we really like our cheese. So I'm going to show you. I've got several already cut. And because there's a lot of liquid that comes off the chicken, I want a little bit, but I don't want to make my uh, bread soggy. Now the original recipe says to just um, lay your cheese over the chicken in your crock pot. But I don't do it that way. You, you certainly can if you want to. The uh, recipe will be down below in the description box. 
and then all I do is I just lay my provolone right on top of the chicken like that and I just let that melt and that is dinner and I'm going to serve that with french fries tonight so I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday simple supper excuse the lighting we are in the middle of doing a lot of work on the house but um, I did I did want to make this because I knew this would be a hearty and uh, delicious meal for tonight on a work day hope you all enjoyed seeing if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel hit the like button and I'll talk to you again soon bye